Hello once again, our most valued student. My name is Confident. I just wanted to bring you a November 2021 uh, mathematics for grade 9, but I'm interested in dealing with question number 6. Question number 6. I want us to look at question 6. And how many marks is question 6? Question 6 is 14 marks. These are questions that involve equations. So I just wanted to bring this to you and it might come handy as you prepare for your exams. So the first one here it says you need to solve the following equations and then they give you this one x minus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. Guys, when they give it like this to say x minus 3x plus 4 in brackets already you just say, uh, let's work it already here, you just say x minus 3 equal to 0 or x plus 4 equal to 0. It's already done for you. Then you take minus 3 to the other side. What you'll have? You've got x is equal to negative 3 becomes positive 3. On the other side, again, take positive 4 to the other side. What are you going to have? You're going to have x is equal to from positive 4 to negative 4. That's how you get your answer. All right. You can test your answers. Where there is x is 3, you put 3 here. You put 3 there. It will give you a 0. Or you put minus 4. Once you put minus 4, also put minus 4 there. Don't put 3 and 4 at the same time. Put minus 4, minus 4, it will give you a 0. That's how you can test it. Do that with the calculator for me. All right. So that is the first one. The second one is 2 marks. 6.1.2. When they give you exponents like this, don't panic. There is always something about this number 32. All right. If you take your calculator, what you'll discover is... You, your calculators, you guys, are advanced, are more latest. What you do, you say 32 equal to, and then you say shift. In this button where there is ENG, at the bottom is FAC. If you press it, you will see that 32 is 2 to the power of 5. So what you'll have, you'll have 2 to the power of X is equal to 2 to the power of 5. Once you match this, when you see this matching, 2 and two then it means also these like this let me do it the right way so two is equal to two you see it also means this is equal to that meaning what x is also equal to five then you get two marks all right next one it's four marks they are saying this minus this is called this you see uh, i want to take a little bit of time just to help you here to say how do you deal with this Look, they always give you something that will make sense. You know, they don't just give numbers. But look at this. You have got 3, you have got 4, you have got 12. And what is the common denominator here? You can see that 12 is the common denominator. So before you do anything, what you can do, you can multiply everything by the common denominator to get rid of these fractions. They are just disturbing these fractions. You can multiply by what? Everything by 12. But this is how you do it. You say 12 times, then you say 2x minus 2 over 3, each one of them, minus 4, minus x plus 1. Here, it's supposed to be x plus 1. Okay, let me erase this. Minus what? x plus 1 over 4. You multiply it again by what? by 12, don't forget it's each and every term, is equal to x minus 3 over 12. You also multiply it by 12. That's where you're going to say 3 is more like 12 over 1, 12 over 1, 12 over 1. So you're saying 3 goes into 12 4 times. And then here 4 goes into 12 3 times. 12 goes into 12 once. So look what you have now. You have got that 4, just want to show you now. You have got that 4, but now you put a bracket because the 4 is affecting everything inside. The 3 is affecting everything inside. The 1 is affecting everything inside. So you've got 4, 2x minus 2. Don't forget this bracket. If you forget it, you will make an error to say 4 times 2 only. And then minus, yes, I see 3 is on the other side, but start with it. 3x plus 1, you see that? 
and then equal to 1 doesn't change anything you just write x minus 3 because even if you multiply anything times 1 it remains as is now you use the foil method whereby this 4 will enter there and enter there you see and then this minus 3 enters there and enters there so the foil method 4 times 2 is what 8x 4 times uh, negative 2 it's minus 8 and then minus 3 times x is minus 3x don't confuse that then minus 3 times 1 it's minus 3 is equal to x minus 3 these are the questions then collect like terms how do you collect like terms x on the left the numbers on the right so what do you have you have got 8x minus 3x so you've got this one and this one always tick them it's better to see that you didn't forget any we have got this x but it must join and then there is an equal sign it must cross so what was the sign it was positive it jumps the equal sign it becomes negative so it becomes minus x is equal to already we've got minus 3 this side so it's minus 3 and then look at it negative 8 must jump the equal sign it was negative it will become positive after jumping the equal sign so it's plus 8 so we have dealt with 8 then there is negative 3 this one it must also jump it is negative it will become positive 3 small things but they mean a lot are you with me so now you use a calculator now look we have got 8x minus 3x minus x put a 1 there there is an invisible one then you take a calculator you just say 8 minus 3 minus 1 you don't have to don't confuse yourself just use a calculator here 8 minus 3 minus 1 there was a, an invisible one there what you have 4 so what you have here is 4x which is equal to then you've got minus 3 plus 3 usually negative plus a positive of the same number it cancels out but you can use a calculator to, to, to just verify to say negative 3 plus 8 minus 3 you see uh, why am I getting that it's negative 3 plus 8 uh, plus 3 sorry about that it gives us 8 you see I think I did it wrong now how do you get x remember this is 4 times x is equal to 8 so you so the opposite of times is division you divide by what you don't want is that 4 so divide by 4 but what you do on the left you do on the right that's how that 4 goes then you've got x is equal to 4 goes into 8 twice then the answer is 2 are you with me are you with me is it difficult I hope you get that four marks. Let's move on to the next one. Five marks. It says Garabo and John are at the same rest stop alongside a highway. Okay, they are at the same rest stop. Garabo started tr uh, driving along the highway at a constant speed of eighty kilometers per hour. An hour later, John started driving along the same highway in the same direction as Garabo at a constant speed of 100 kilometers an hour then it says how long will it take for John to catch up with Garabo you see so now let's focus on John 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 started driving an hour later let's focus on him so we can say let the time they said how long let the time taken by John be equal to X now there's something interesting about these two guys now they are look they're saying Garabo and John are at the same what same rest stop alongside the highway and then Garabo started driving along the highway at a constant speed of that are you with me an hour later John started traveling along the same highway in the same direction as Carabo at a constant speed of that how long will it take up what they are saying how long will it take up John to catch up with Carabo but there is a key thing these two guys let me do it on the on this side now what we need to know about these guys is that they are all going to travel the same distance why because 
the other one is catching up. So the distance of John is the distance of what? Of Karabo. Why? Because they are traveling and the other one, John, is catching up. Are you with me? So we can use that formula. Speed. Remember that um, there is this. Uh, actually, you can do it like this. I prefer it like this. You still remember. To say speed is equal to distance over time. You remember that the table. Speed is distance over time. So what is distance? Distance is equal to what? Speed times time. Are you, with, are you with me? So now let's first find the distance. So let the time taken by John be that. So now next one is what about the time taken by Karabo? Let's focus on the time taken by Karabo. With this information, we can get everything. Then they are saying Karabo started driving on the highway to consent with this an hour later. Which means Karabo started an hour earlier. So an hour earlier means Karabo had X plus 1. So when John started traveling at X, Karabo had already an hour of benefit. Are you getting that? So it's X plus 1. So now let's find the distance. We know the distance is the same. So for John, we are going to say distance is equal to speed, which is what? For John. It's 100 times time. We say it is what? The time taken is x. Are you getting that? So which is 100x. For Karabo, what is the distance? The distance is equal to speed, which is 80 times the time taken, x plus 1. Don't forget the bracket there. x plus 1 which is equal to 80 times x plus 1. And then something interesting, we say that they are all traveling at the same distance. The distance is the same. That's where the equation comes in. So if the distance of John is the distance of Karabo, then you can be allowed to say 100x, which is the distance of, o, of John, is equal to the distance of Karabo, which is 80, and then you say x plus 1. Are you seeing that? Then now we have to use the FOIL method. Open that and open that. So you've got 100x is equal to 80 times x, which is 80x, and 80 times 1, which is plus 80. Are you with me? Then take 80 to the other side, which is 100x. It must join the other one. Minus, remember, it's positive. So it become minus 80 here. X is equal to 80. Then we have to solve for X. What is 100 minus 80? It's 20X. Remember, 20X is same as saying 20 times X. That is 20X. Is equal to 80. Then you don't want that 20. Opposite of multiplication is division. You divide by 20, but what you do on the left? You do on the right. You see what I'm doing? Then from there, you have got your x is equal to 20 goes into 84 times, which is 4. So now, 4 hours. How long? So it will take John. You can conclude to say here, they say, how long will it take John to catch up with Karabo? So you can conclude that it will take John four hours to catch up with who to catch up with Karab or just to catch up we know though we are dealing with the two guys uh, in this case all right guys that's what I wanted to bring to you such questions are very very important you know I just wanted to bring to you these question six in particular so that you can answer these higher order questions we've come to the end of our lesson if you are interested in this paper it's got quite a number of uh, questions here. No, there are quite a number of questions that were interesting. But for now, I just wanted to bring you that. Thank you.